Hi everybody. So I'm off on a bit of a blues road trip here. Uh, I'm going to go and collect my old 1929 Gibson L1 that needed a little bit of work doing on it. Um, I'm going to collect it from Steve Phillips, one of the great British blues musicians. You know, he does this Tuesday night residency at the Grosvenor Hotel in Robin Hood's Bay, where he lives. And I thought I'd combine the two. You may have seen it on the uh, Mark Knopfler Guitar Stories thing. Well, you know what? It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, the trouble is, I've just picked my car up about two hours ago, and it's had the engine out. And I hope I get there and back. Let's see. There it is, Robin Hood's Bay, next to the sea. So just before the sun sets, let's go for a little walk around the village. It's a beautiful place. Here's the sea. So as it's an old fishing village, it's all these little iggledy piggledy streets. Oh, I want to come here tomorrow and maybe buy a jumper. Cool, like fishermen's jumpers. But uh, apparently this place used to be like a sort of centre for smuggling. All these little um, streets and pathways you could bring stuff in at the dead of night and move it around and sell it on. So I just uh, picked up my guitar and sound check it. Can't get you off of my mind. Hey, hey, you got to feel it like a toy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got them hobo blues I couldn't keep from crying. Laughing high, whoa, pass that bar to me. Right then, I've had breakfast, just been playing my guitar and uh, just trying to get a feel for the work and what's happened. It's basically these old Gibsons, this is a 29 Robert Johnson spec Gibson. The old finishers, the, the, when the solvents dry out, they become very hard, very crystalline. Any little bang, knock, mark, it leaves like a white mark. It's like, sh basically the finish shatters, it leaves white lines and white, white marks. So what Steve did was very tasteful. He's managed to go in and get rid of all the white lines and marks that were on the guitar body but keep you know enough of the original kind of patina it's completely 100 percent tasteful it looks great but it also looks original just like any 90 year old guitar should look and you'll, you'll see like there that like that was a big white scar and it's there but it's like basically melted in it kind of puts fin you know sort of basically remelts the finish um and it's, the guitar's got the marks and pox in it. Yeah, I'm just chuffed. It sounds and plays amazing. So I'll come down and do some paddling. The sea's a long way away. I went to go and buy a jump, but they were shut. Um, so now it's the steep, steep, steep climb back to the car. So I come to the town of Whitby, which is near Robin Hood's Bay. Just a little walk around before going back to Leeds. If you've ever seen or read Dracula, it was written in Whitby and the town is described. So basically the ship comes to ground on some mud and then the hound comes running up the steps up to the abbey and turns into Dracula. 
And this is exactly where it's based on. This is regarded as one of the greatest fish and chip places in um, the country. In the summer, people queue for sort of hours to get in here. I'm gonna walk with mine in the rain. Okay, there's the abbey. There's the sea. Here's the hotels of Bramsburg. So like, I'm gonna drive back to Leeds. So what a lovely little 24 hours this has been. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So here we go, I've made it home, thank goodness. And I've been playing the guitar a little bit and it just plays, sounds and looks incredible. Can I say really like I really enjoyed the music on the Tuesday I just thought Steve's singing and playing was fantastic uh, I think there was a bit of an issue because the drummer was missing and uh, I just still thought it sounded fan it was all just to me fantastic fantastic band Steve's done a great job on this guitar normally um, his wife Kate or guitar Kez um, does you know works on the guitars or they work together um, Steve did all this himself but um, her name kept coming up, and, and I didn't put the two together, but her name kept coming up as being a great guitar repair person. And then um, various people suggested Steve to perhaps do the finish on this guitar. So what am I trying to say here? It's all just rambling nonsense. Well, look, if you're about and you want to see some great music, come along on a Tuesday. The hotel was great. The people were great. It was very good value. So, yeah, get out of your house get to the seaside, spend some money and have a great time and enjoy some great music. I'll stop now. <laughs>